Hello everyone, my name is Ruby Bloodrose and I am going to be trying to do a let's play of Bias Marta. Now, as you can see, I've already played this game before and it is a very good game and I thought I might as well have a play of it because it's one of those kinds of games that is popular if you get to know it, but it's one of those kinds of games that is under the radar. So yeah, let's get started. In a different place in time. Actually, no, I'm gonna be quiet. Your name is Robert Hughes. Robert Hughes. You wake on the shore of a mysterious island. You have come to the island as an exiled man, a traitor, and betrayed. You are suffering from a plague, a disease from which you will soon die. The island is home to a research outpost, a concave of enlightened men searching for a cure. Discover the cure and survive. Okay, so this is my Asmata. It may seem a bit choppy at first with the finger movements and everything. This is just like one of those things that I think is a bit hard to be able to do like singular li like ligament movements and everything. It is harder than having like a single model. Oh. Um and one thing else I should note is that the um the graphics of the game might be affected because of my um because of me filming it. Your general provides you with your health status, med medicine inventory, and objectives. It also includes all of the notes you collect in the research you perform on the island. Click on the tabs at the top of the journal to explore its various selections. Use A and D to navigate the journal page by page. Use the right mouse button to zoom in. H to close this topic. Okay, so, discover the plague cure. We have no notes and no research. One thing that I really like about this game is... The, oh. <laughs> um. Yeah. One thing I really like about this game is the fact that... I know, sir, if you saw that, but there is actually a slide movement. Which is cool, you know, because... It's not very often that you find a, a um, game that has proper slide movements. I mean, it's still a bit glitchy. Certain things get a little bit off sometimes. We also have birds. And I don't think I'm actually supposed to be around here. One other thing I should note is the fact that um, there is a time and there is a time meter. So you have to get from one place to another as the sun sets. It is a very good time meter. And I've already been down this path before. You can sprint, but only for a small period of time. But you try not to, because... Yeah. It wastes energy. There is a note on the sh table in the shed. Take it using the left, left mouse button. Okay. Blame member about the cures. Dear Harlow, my tests have been successful. We have a cure. Begin immediate synthesis of... Tricordinized by combining the following agents. Agent X, primary antibiotic. Agent Y, antitoxin. Agent Z, and adjuvant. A single injection will simply eliminate, will safely eliminate the um, all tr traces of the plague growth within four to twelve hours. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> da. I gotta get used to that. Oh no. What's happened here? Blood. I don't know why, but the blood textures seem a little bit, um... Off for some reason. You can also crouch. And look, we've got our first weapon. Weapons are a vital thing in this. Now, one thing I know... Ah, here's a laboratory. Press H to know more. Nope. 
We know a lot to learn about laboratories. This is a synthesis station. Synthesis stations allow you to create medicines and tonics from the specimens you discover on the island. Use the synthesis station, place a specimen on at least one tray using left mouse button. Then look at the distill distillation rig and press left mouse button again to attempt synthesis. If the synthesis of a medicine the medicine was successful, the item will materialize on the yield tray. You'll find that some medicines can be created from a single specimen, while others are created with two. These are save points. Anything that are lights... Yeah, this is, um... Something else? Health research stations allow you to discover any important medics, medicinal, nah, medicinal characteristics nah, characteristic of a specimen you may have. To use a research station, place your specimen on the tray using left mouse button. If you have more than one item in your hand, you may need to press it multiple times to cycle to your desired specimen. Now look at the microscope, left mouse button for a second time, then research will be performed. Well, will be documented in your journal. I like this because it's unique, you know? It's very unique. Hmm? Dead. For some reason, my controls are being a bit glitchy. I don't know if it's just me or if it's something I've forgotten. You have been watched. Yes, well that's lovely. The first time I played this, I was mucking around so much. I like this. A typical example f in the violet genus. This flower is white and pink in color. Damn it, I gotta stop doing that. Oh, see, look at that. The sun is going down. And that means we need to get inside. Probably. First, we probably should put this on the examination tray. And then examinate. I like this process because it actually goes through all the different stuff you need to examine. Even though it's probably not specifically what it looks like if it was the type of plant or fungi or something. It's well done. I used liquid liquid extraction to isolate the essential oils from the petals of the flower. My f tests indicate these oils may have a mild medicinal value. My conclusion, I should be able to synthesize this flower into a basic medicine. Damn it. <laughs> so that means we can turn this into medicine. And to do that, we put this here. I'll just save again. Ah, oh, yeah. Again, I like this process. It's cool. And even though the um, movements and everything are choppy, this game is very good when it comes to what it is trying to do. It's better than most games, you know. I synthesize basic medicine. Basic medicine reduces free before short duration. So, that means if we get sick, Sounds like we have a woodpecker outside. Oh, now. I probably should head over to... Over there, before it gets dark. Take some more flowers. Hmm. Find fresh water to drink. Since the, you are stricken with a plague, you will become dehydrated very quickly. There are fresh water lakes and ponds all over the island. Press left mouse button when you're looking down at the water's edge to drink. This will always fill up your canteen for future use. It's good. This is a good, like, mechanic and everything. Mm. 
The sun is like moving. It's the shore. That is a shore. Save your games by lighting candles, lanterns, and campfires and urns. Yes. That was Mass of Draco. The statue? Laboratory. So that means that we are here. And over there is where we probably need to go. But there is a hut there with a boat. So that probably means that we need to be a damn it this <laughs> that probably means that there is something there that we probably need to use. Use best to recuperate strength and also save your game. So this is pretty good so far. Yeah, I probably would like some... I'll just chuck some bananas at things. Yeah. We still have a little bit more time before it becomes night, and you don't want to go out in the night time. Most of the time. Because, you know, predators come out in the night usually, and when you're alone on an island, you don't want to be left alone. Birds are awesome. That's all I can say. There's a there's that statue they were talking about. Ahead of you is a chasm, a cartography table. Press H to learn more. Documental mapping. How to pinpoint your location through triangulation. Step one: take out your map and compass. Step two: observe your surroundings. Look for man-made landmarks such as statues, buildings, ruins, etc. Cabin, a tent, and a statue. If such a landmark is also represented by an icon on your map, it is considered known. In the diagram above, landmarks A and C are known, whereas landmark B is not. Step 3. Draw sight lines to know to two known landmarks by pressing activate while observing each one. The intersection of these sight lines represents your precise location. Ah. Okay, so what was the button again? Yeah, there's also we also have a watch and a compass. Like, sorry, I just need to um. You try and clash. Look around. Try not to sight landmarks that are not currently represented on you. Draw sight lines by pressing activate as you observe them. Okay, so I remember that as soon as I. Whoa. Okay, so we've learned slightly more. Come on. Now. Should probably head back. Ah, there's also this thing with running. That if you go down a steep hill and you keep running, 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 running. <coughs> I might just try and stay awake until... Look! A rabbit! Do you see that? <coughs> wildlife! <coughs> yeah, but seriously. Wildlife is awesome. I love games when there is wildlife. Another awesome thing about the um, cultivation is the fact that... Um, now... Do do do! Yay! We wake up during the early morning. That's all well and fine. Hopefully, it's the early morning. Nope, it's PM. Still nighttime. Ish. So, 
I might just sleep again, because I want to show you night. Because you can sleep until day. The next morning, but it happens in sections, see? Now it is the late... Now it is the late evening at 9 p.m., which is surprisingly still pretty light out, so I think that this is a glitch. Yeah, it's a glitch. Don't mind it. Whoa. Okay then, so I was in pitch black. And I didn't know because I forgot to turn on my damn light. It's still pretty late, so I'm just going to um, sleep once more. But now you know all the different separate parts of the day. And this will change as you progress through the days. So this doesn't just happen when you're in night, you know? This happens all the time. Now, I'm going to do a bit more mapping. That's another triangulation. Okay, so that means we get a point for there. Yay. We have a tiny map piece. I don't know which way to go. I always went that way, so... Yeah. Anyway, I think we should head the direction it says on the map, because... Why not? You know? As you can tell, I am already wary about something. And that's why I'm being cautious. Well, there is good reason to be. You see, we are not alone here. There are birds. Gigantic birds. What about Albus Draco? Laboratory, we've gone out there, we can head down there, head towards the statue, and then, yes. So, if we take out our map, we can triangulate, and see if there's any other landmarks. If you're wondering, it gives a better understanding of everything, you know? Also, you do not want to go into water. So I have to go down and around. The reason is, is that you drop your items while swimming. It's tedious, but it's pretty much unavoidable. Grab falling rocks and sticks. We don't exactly need that unless we're building a fire, which we probably will when we get up to this point over here. Because each area has its own unique thing. Now look! <gasps> What's this? Some more exotic flowers? I know for a fact that there's more flowers around here, but... You can stop that on the way because I am very cautious about time because there is um, things with um, collecting plants but I don't specifically know. Stuff like that variates. Okay, look. There is another statue over there somewhere in the distance. I wonder if I'll be able to... Oh, I can't. I can't right now, but... Yeah. Hmm. 
Look, there's our hut. Like I said, I am very cautious. Because... Yeah. Yeah, even Hughes is a bit cautious right now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what was that? Map of Swamp Trail. We are here. And there is the camp. So Swamp Trail. Na 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 na. Okay, so we've gained more. Look, so now we have a better look at everything. There is a couple of totems around here. I think that these are totems. But yes, you have a better view of everything, and yeah, it's good. Now, I don't know what's over here. I guess that the best thing we can do right now is just to follow the path, because incidentally, I'm kind of one of those people that just muck around and go one way or the other. Take that. And... We can't take that. Take that. And we get a better view of the area. Yeah, slightly better view. Hear that? Wind! Ooh, and some photos. Caption on the back of the photo reads Pendergrass searching the construction of Outpost Cyrus. Caption in the back of photo read Do Professor Gladless instructing Dr. Sanchez. Oh, this guy doesn't look too happy about who's how he's being commanded. Okay, I better just check my status. Health okay, insurance low. Might as well have a drink of water. Even though that was a complete waste because it takes more time, it's still a thing. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Now, what time is it? Hmm. Two o'clock. There is. There does seem to be a slight problem with the um, actual timing and everything, because it looks a lot later than it actually is, it seems. Oh look, sticks. I know that there is an achievement for um lighting every single totem on the island. Dang it. You come back here. I'm going to need you. Oh look, some more statues. Uh, looks like I can't anyway. Boop. 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 And look what we get, look what we get, look what we get. <gasps> we get slightly more island. Nah, nah, nah. Well, that's enough screwing around. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this video short here. And, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching, like and favorite if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe for more wacky videos of me playing my Master and awaiting the fear that lies within this unknown island that's unknown. This unknown island is known by some, but not by this guy. Bye!